Hello, buzz and gods, my name is Hotsusty and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. In this series, we are focusing on farming. And last time we built up the uh, Bristol Blossom Farm and we said we should be in a situation where we are comfortable on taking on more than three duplicates without the fear that they will starve us away as happened here with Lindsay. Um, what we wanted to get to last time was a set up to produce oxygen. We did not get around to it, uh, but we managed to, uh, to have a set up where we uh, take the uh, brine in here, which is a bit on the cold side, uh, loop it through our our uh, our base uh, long enough so the temperatures are in a positive range, so we can desalinate and don't break the pipes from it. So. Oxygen production is something we will have to tackle, but if we look down here, we have quite a bit of carbon dioxide, and this is a problem because it pushes uh, the carbon dioxide here on top, so that occasionally we have too much air pressure, uh, so that uh, the uh, oxygen diffuser cannot produce any oxygen. So that's something we probably want to take care of first. And then we will have to figure out what farm to build next. If we have a look here at the plants, we will have arbors because we will need pips um, for sure because there are just some plants that have uh, difficult to meet uh, requirements if you want to farm them in a farm setup so for those plants we will use pips to uh, to grow them naturally in a dense environment, um, so so to speak. So arbitrary, we'll have those uh, in in our pip farm or in our pip ranch. Uh, balm lilies, uh, that should not be a problem. Um, well, problem is probably chlorine gas, but. Um, once we have atmosphere, that's that's not really a, a, an issue anymore. Bristle blossoms we have, and of course, all with these other plants that don't uh, drop uh, seeds. So from one plant, we cannot uh, produce more plants. We will ignore. So that's the, the Blair buff, the, the body, body bud, the mark root, um, hexalant, chomping choya, mirth leaf, um, uh, ox fern, um, the uh, sporch orchid, and the uh, weaswarts. Well, maybe we will use these words for, for cooling, but you cannot really farm, farm them uh, in, a, in a conventional sense. So what to focus on next? I mean, if we get uh, arbor seeds, um, we can actually have our tree farm. Tree farm, that's probably also natural planted. Um, because here we need quite a bit of dirt and polluted water, um, more that we can uh, produce. Then Dasha salt wine, um, there we also need uh, chlorine, but 
they also consume quite a bit of uh, sand per cycle, um, more than, than I'm comfortable spending. And the, we salt, you don't need that much unless you go down uh, and uh, um, use rust um, for oxygen production, which we will probably do because we have quite a bit of, of rust in here. And uh, as a nice side uh, effect, um, we will get iron ore out of it. But that's probably something further down the line. And uh, hopefully at that point, we can plant them uh, uh, with pips. Dust caps, that would be an easy and handy farm because it consumes uh, uh, carbon dioxide, um, which we have too much of, but we don't have any seeds. Um, gas grass, uh, that's probably the last one because that comes out uh, from outer space. Um, and yeah, Middlewood farm, we have uh, nosh beams we could plant, but they are also a bit uh, difficult um, because they want to have uh, a cool environment and they uh, feed on uh, on ethanol so if we farm them as as a farm uh, then we probably need a reliable source for ethanol um, then the uh, the uh, pincher peppernut uh, we could do those uh, also without any set up kitchen it's not really um, worth it uh, because you cannot eat the uh, the peppernut you it's just an ingredient um, sleet weed uh, we need to get those from somewhere uh, same with the the thimble reed and the, the water weed so basically a lot hinges on uh, what we get out of the printing pot so let's have a look uh, blossom seeds we don't need so let's take the barbecue and then we probably should set up uh, a, a cleaning set up down here um, there and then is it in refinement yeah so let's turn this around and then connect white to green and green to white and then we need power down here that goes to there and we need a bit of uh, water we will steal that from here and that goes in there and here we will need a bridge and that should sort out the carbon dioxide problem for now um, we probably also want to dig in a bit more in um, these various direction just to see what else we can find there I think here on the side that's kind of a cold biome um, 
but we will we will see and and figure things out as we go along and ooh, the, the paths we don't need those so um we can transfer them to uh to barbecue and we will just have to see what chances we get with the uh, with the printing pod in order to figure out what to do next. We managed to have the setup for cleaning out carbon dioxide and by the looks of it, it is working. And out of the printing pod, we got two new duplicants. Uh, one is a cook and the other one will eventually become an artist. Uh, we also got some pip x so that's half the problem solved for our uh, future farming setup down here we are planning out a, a mess hall um, but we are lacking a bit on the ore side no copper ore anymore don't have that much uh, iron ore um, and up here I started with laying out uh, the layout for the electrolytes to get uh, oxygen that way but then I thought maybe we should also think about um, the other option to get oxygen uh, through rust deoxidization uh, which will create iron ore as a as a side product so as this also produces chlorine gas that's not at uh, our duplicates are not that fond of this so that's why we have a lock here um, which we will fill in with um, uh, with with uh, a liquid. Um, let's see. Temperatures are close to to zero, so probably not water. And then we can have the production facility on this side. And with the chlorine, I'm thinking. Um, we will have uh, then um, a farm here on this side for the salt wines uh, because if we look at those uh, they require a chlorine atmosphere and if we plant them naturally they don't need sand but they still consume a bit of, of chlorine gas so I'm hoping that evens out or at least uh, the oxygen production from the rust deoxidization will be uh, hampered down to the speed that uh, the salt wines consume the, the chlorine gas. So that's the plan for now. Um, but our duplicants have quite a bit of, of work to do. We are not quite there yet, but we are getting there. We have this uh, oxygen production set up finished. Um, it's still a bit uh, wonky with uh, occasionally we get the raw materials up here, but that should uh, even out soon enough. Um, I have also um, switched out the, uh, the the wires to a conductive wire here at the top. That one is not yet connected but this here all uh, conductive wire with a new transformer here and then down here we have a small one uh, which powers our kitchen which is also new as well as this setup down here 
and as you can see here I planned this out uh, or I hope to plan this out to be completely autonomous uh, on this side so no duplicates need to go in here so the auto sweeper uh, will pick up the uh, the iron ore uh, and also everything that drops here uh, fed into the um, the uh, machine so out of here we will have uh, salt and uh, uh, rust uh, and that will be inserted and then here on this side uh, I think we cannot harvest uh, from the top so here the duplicates have to go in uh, but then the salt will drop down and this sweeper will put it in here um, which will eventually output it there However, we do not yet have the necessary uh, skills to, uh, to build these uh, automation and uh, we're still missing uh, a piece here because we also need to get things out. And We also need to have a way to feed things in. So I am trying something new here. Um, having this going there, this Um, going there and then we drop it and I am hoping that I can manually uh, fill up this one with um, with rust but we will see how that goes and all the machine in here they will need a power cable but currently I don't think that I have enough um, iron uh, to, to sort this out. On here we have 50% of uh, the, the capacity um, there we have already 420 so we can still add 580 to the system without overloading all the power here is connected so now let's plant those uh, salt wines i restricted this to uh, to uh, s3 uh, because i have a feeling we Otherwise, we might get into into the problem of um, uh, using too much salt there, uh, and then we need to connect up here, um, and maybe we want to have an atmos sensor here. So this pump does not constantly pump and uh, so that we should see uh, this being uh, uh, filled up and if we have a look there we have a bit of uh, chlorine most of it is uh, is oxygen here at the bottom we have some carbon dioxide but once that's uh, out of the way, should be soon, um, uh, we should be good there as well. So let's set this up to uh, uh, 750 above. 
and there we have the, the iron ore that comes out of here. Um, here on this side, ah, uh, yeah, here we have max air pressure. So that should not really be a problem because eventually we will also reach max air pressure in here and then the, the whole setup stops. Um, what we are liking here is the uh, chlorine atmosphere uh, to, to go there. But with these two setups, we should be good to have enough oxygen to add more duplicants. Uh, and for that, I added two more beds here so we can actually see if there are some that would fit into uh, our uh, nice little colony. Um, and looking at this uh, mainly, uh, I'm looking for uh, someone uh, operating mechatronic so we can build those, uh, those, um, those uh, shipping automation up here. Um, at least so far, no luck in that regard. But maybe this will happen till next time. Um, here we have uncovered a bit more and we can really see, yes, there is a cold biome there. So maybe next time we will focus on the slate weed and the two uh, uh, pips they have hatched uh, already so think we will close uh, this episode here we have the farm and uh, we can see it would grow uh, if we would have uh, a bit of, of chlorine in here um, to uh, to go by this set up here all right hope you enjoyed it and tune in next time when we will tackle another farm